So my love of cars really started when I was young. My grandfather had an old car dealership, and so I spent a lot of time hanging out in garages and really um, hanging around old cars. We would also take these long family vacations. I was an only child. I'd sit in the back seat and really watch the cars go by because in, in those days you didn't have the videos and everything else to keep your time occupied. So you really spent a lot of time just watching the country go by. And so I would buy car magazines at local convenience stores before we'd head out for the trip. And I think that was something that really solidified you know, this love of cars for me because I could sort of see what was out there uh, and then read about them in the magazines on these trips. I'm Jay Livingston. This is my 1968 Pontiac Firebird. Old muscle cars always resonated with me. I just love the stance of the way the car sat. Uh, I love the feel and the, the noise and the sound was something that you just didn't see much. And uh, I knew a couple of people that had these cars and, and I think that sort of lit the fire in me as far as uh, someday having one and maybe restoring one. This car is a very analog experience in the sense of the steering wheel is wood, so that's really what you feel when you're touching the car. You know, the noise is in the cabin, and it's this low rumble all the way up to a much higher wail, you know, as you're really flooring the car. Um, when you go around corners, you can feel the body roll of the car and what it's about to do, as opposed to most modern cars, which are so overpowered uh, and so well-tuned from a suspension standpoint, you don't even really feel that anymore. You know, this car is coming up on 50 years old, and often the dream of driving these cars does not match the reality uh, with technology like drum brakes and, and old suspensions and, frankly, no safety gear whatsoever. As I was driving them, I started realizing uh, I love the look and the feel and the experience of driving these muscle cars, but I really want them to drive better and safer. Immediately disc brakes, a more modern suspension on the car. We lowered the, uh, the suspension by an inch and a half. Uh, we put new headers on the car to get better performance. We upgraded the electrical system and a new aluminum radiator you know, to help it drive better. Uh, those were some of the real performance aspects of the car. A new exhaust, uh, so it sounds great now, a little more free-flowing. Um, and then secondly, from an interior standpoint, we replaced the upholstery, new dynamat on the car to make it a little quieter on the inside with new carpeting. You know, we put in a modern stereo that you can't see, so it looks completely stock, but it, it sounds great. You know, stereo is a big part of, of the experience of this car. New top, uh, electric motor for the top. You know, so we made some of those nods to modern conveniences that uh, really kept the look that we were going for. The best thing about owning this car has been that it takes you back to a place where you think about, you know, people were really driving a car like this around, like all the cars were like this. This was considered really modern technology. You know, you kind of step back in time. Um, these old cars were the most cutting edge thing happening in their day. And it's kind of neat to, to be able to sit back in that and kind of connect you to the past in an interesting way. I just love the feel of old things, I always have. Uh, and that's what this car gives me.